Technology-dependent industries like medicine, agriculture and cosmetics are continuously driving innovation for new materials and substances forward. Because of its unique properties, the diverse class of chitosans has become a promising candidate for research in these fields. These substances are abundant in nature but not yet marketable for high standard applications. In the Nano3 Bio project, scientists and industry are collaborating to produce chitosans with biotechnology. This will guarantee environmentally friendly, reliable and safe products for healthcare, food industry and cosmetic applications. The international research project Nano3 Bio, funded by the European Union, gathered scientists and industrial partners to bring the potential of the biocompound chitosan into marketable products. And with 22 collaborators from all over Europe and India, Nano3 Bio is one of the biggest projects in this field of research. Well, projects like this bring new developments. Yeah? We're obviously still in need of new products, whether they are old products that we make in a better way, or whether in fact they are new applications that actually did not yet exist, because we have changed maybe the specifics of a product. Nano3 Bio is the highlight of a sequence of projects which helped to build knowledge on chitosans for more than 15 years. It could be the final step on the way to creating chitosan products, which is why project coordinator Professor Bruno Merschbacher states that Nano3 Bio is making a scientific dream come true. And again, it is not known which chitosan is best um, to be used for drug delivery or for vaccine delivery. For instance, you would should be able to to treat diabetes, diabetes patients, they have to inject insulin, but instead of injecting it, you could probably also use chitosan to get it into the cells. That would be, of course, an improvement for diabetes patients. It is known that chitosans have antimicrobial activities, so they can prevent bacteria from growing. For instance, you can use them in food to preserve food so it won't spoil. We hope that um, with the new chitosans we develop, we should be able to come up with uh, protection which is as good as the one which we can have today using chemistry. And of course, chitosans would be completely safe. If we treat a field, we treat plants with chitosan, then there's no harm done. The chitosan will be degraded, the environment is not, there's no problem for the environment, and there's also no problem for the customer because chitosan is completely healthy, you can eat it without any problems. Furthermore, safety issues and ecological impact are of prime importance and objects of research. For this purpose, experts from the field of life cycle assessment are Nano3 Bio Consortium partners. This approach, this life cycle assessment, that is what we are going to use in this project. To, to get more knowledge about how is the environmental impact from the product chain of chitosans. So that is what we are going to, to look at in this project. And it's very exciting to find out where are the environmental hotspots actually in this production chain. The consortium aims to realize and to guarantee the production of highest quality chitosans. This is a basic requirement for many application areas like medicine and food products. Hence, accordant biotechnological processes are carried out under very strict regulations. Usually, people tend to trust in conventional drugs and treatments. This is why new medical applications occasionally face public concerns regarding health risks. Well, part of the difficulty that we face in dealing with safety is that obviously people start with uh, preconceived ideas. Yeah? For instance, the idea that what we do traditionally is safer than, than new technology. And in fact, where we come from is more to say we really have to evaluate, yeah? because we know that, first of all, every technology comes with a side effect. But we also know that what we have been doing so far is not the best way. So we have to find a good mix and we have to find a good balance between moving forward with improvements, but keeping in mind that we want to make sure that there are no side effects. Nowadays, the restrictions when taking a drug onto the market are much higher. So when we get there, it will be because it's safe. If not, it won't happen. So in that respect, I think people has to be, in, if anything, more relaxed. The aim is to get safer drugs, is not to get something that is worse. We wouldn't bother. The Nano3 Bio researchers assume that many additional fields of application will be found in which a specific chitosan can replace or support other substances. 
For many applications, this is a highly promising prospect, since one of the many good qualities of chitosans lies in the fact that they are well tolerated by the human body and easily biodegradable. Let us assume the Nano3 Bio project will bring out tangible research and development results. In the foreseeable future, chitosans will be much more common, improving existing technologies and possibly initiating new ones. Learn more about Nano3 Bio on our website and thank you for watching.